Hello, this is Larry Lee. I teach chem on my YouTube channel. This is a tutorial on how to plot a titration curve on Excel. This video will be about four minutes long. If you like this, subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will have more tutorials and answers to chemistry questions. Here, I have titration curve data for weak acid, acetic acid, and a strong base, sodium hydroxide. Your data should be similar and make sure you place the x-axis volume of sodium hydroxide added data in the column A and pH reading in column B on the right side. Then highlight the data without the titles. Use the left mouse button to highlight the data by clicking and dragging. Then click insert graph. You can do a scatter plot but it is better to do a scatter with straight lines and markers. Next, let's add in the title and axes label. To do this, click on the plus icon on the top right hand corner of the graph. Note, this is not available in the online version of Excel. Click on the boxes to add the title and axes. You will find that the Y axis is read vertically and to change this, you can format the title. On Axes Title, if you scroll to the right, it will get options, then select more options, then change text direction to horizontal. Add in your titles. Go to the area where you need to place the text. For the geometric method to find pH equivalence point, Add in the three lines necessary using insert shapes and select line. For each line, you can format the shape so that it's thicker and different in color. I choose red color and 1.25 to 1.5 point thickness. Move the line to best represent the straightest part of the titration curve at the bottom, at the top, and the middle. Then, where the lines intercept, marked with yellow dots, measure the distance and divide by 2. This is measuring the halfway point to give the equivalence point. Estimate the best you can this data. Thank you very much for watching. 